With the Decision Testing page, you can run test data through a decision service to see if the decision logic is generating the desired results. You can upload a data set or import data from the Analytic Data Mart on the Decision Management platform. To use the Decision Testing page, the Decision Service must compile successfully, and there must be at least one functional with a parameter and a return type. To open Decision Testing, expand the Test pane and click Decision Testing. First, select an entry point to invoke the Decision Service. I'm going to select the Decision Flow. When the Decision Flow is invoked, the data that is passed in will be evaluated against the decision logic in all of the referenced entities. I'm going to show you how to configure a data set and upload it. Later, I will show you how to import data from the Analytic Data Mart. Use the Configure Data window to create the structure for the data set. Select the properties for which you are going to provide input data. For expediency, I'm only going to select a few properties. Next, select the properties for which you want the results generated. If you want to provide expected data for one or more of the result values, select the checkbox next to the values. I'm going to upload a data set that has already been populated with data. After the test is run, the green bar shows the test that ran successfully and the yellow bar shows a test with a validation error. Let's see what happened. It looks like the result of this test didn't match the expected data. To find out why the error occurred, use the analyzer to step through the execution. The Rule Details pane shows the rules that fired and the Result State pane shows when and how properties were modified. After the cause of the problem is found, you can fix the problem and run the test again. Now I'm going to show you how to import data from the Analytic Data Mart. The imported data is transformed into a CSV file that you can download modify, and upload again. You can try decision testing by downloading the decision testing file on the Learn page and using it with the example. For more information about the decision test, see the Decision Modeler documentation.